look after the basket because that's not part of the cost. <laughs>
our well is steam driven, hence the bulk. Small is a fact of life in our well, and coal is our main power source. However, for space time travelling steampunks and those who have aqua vehicles, well, obviously, cold fusion is the answer. You've all read that amazing technical manual, 20,000 leagues under the sea. Have you not? Huzzah! Huzzah! George Vernon, you're all fans of that delightful French gentleman. Let's not mock the way he talks. Not much. <coughs> cold fusion. And let's be honest, anything that isn't powered by coal or cold fusion then there's always magic. Because magic is alive in our world, alive and kicking. We have a large number of witches! Burn the witch! What? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. We have a large number of We have a large number of Women dressed in black. Witches! Witches! Burn the witch! How do you know she's a witch? How do you know she's a witch? Okay, this is really simple. If you throw a witch into water, what happens? She floats. She floats. What else floats? Ducks. A duck's float. So, if she weighs the same as a duck, she's a witch. Burn! Huzzah! Now, having covered Witches! <laughs> we need to move on for a little taste of history. Now, in this dreadful modern world, all sorts of things allegedly happen. But in the real world, World War I never happened. Our delightful German cousins grandson to our wonderful queen, remained our dedicated ally. And whilst World War I never happened, we were of course invaded from Mars. Those of you who are aware of the dreaded Martian Wars, of which we shall talk more, a veteran of which I am myself, <sighs> part of the Martian Expeditionary Force <laughs> will know how dreadful they were. Which is why the majority of you steampunks walking around today will be armed to the tip. Because we're never going to forget what they did to Reggie. Martian. So, they from Mars? The United Force formed together, led, of course, by our Britannic Empress, Queen Victoria. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> With help from the fairies and the witches, overcome the alien swine. Now, that brings us on nicely to the discovery of evil. You will notice there are some punks around today who are the proud owners of an internal combustion of these damn things running around, puffing out their gas. I assure you, it will be the end of the world. <coughs> Those types can generally be identified by large spanners and small toolkits, flat caps and goggles and are generally referred to as diesel punks. Now, I've got to be honest and say, I have confirmed myself a pair of diesel punk boots. They are rather comfortable, no one solves. <laughs> so, you may also see some people wandering around today who have masses of curly weird hair. No, not the soulless genius, madam, you're okay. <laughs> These chaps are cyberpunks. Now, cyberpunks have 
travel back from the future to be here with us in the steampunk world. A fair amount of trading has been going on between the steampunks and the cyberpunks. So if you take a walk around the markets, you may well find some cyberpunk items. The big problem is, of course, the future has somewhat been overrun by zombies. <laughs> and it's only a matter of time until one of them comes back with the song. So once again, I can only suggest you buy yourself a reliable firearm with the invention of bullets, no more spitting and ramming. I tell you, it's worth the layout. So, that brings us up to today. What are we doing here today? Christ! Well, as, as steampunks, we like to surround ourselves by Victorian architecture and machinery. We enjoy the ambience of fellowship and friendship. And we're all only ever so slight. So, I'd like to introduce a delightful young lady who is my wife. Unfortunately, I only have this haggard old hand. <laughs> Who, after this show, will be delighting you with a fire room tonight down at uh, uh, Town End? I'd like to talk to you about my, my son in law. First time I met my son in law, I said to my wife, either this young man has severe learning disabilities or the new vacuum. <laughs> I'd like to use a garden simile. And I believe my mother. This man is the biggest weed growing out of a compost. I spurned him like I would spurn a rabbit dog. Unlike your good selves, who are all charming in your own So before I go, I would ask you for one more huzzah! And another round of oh, what? The train is in the station, please refrain from urination and respect for railway property. Whilst the vehicle's not in motion, don't tinker the slightest notion to urinate on railway property. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for time. If there's anything you'd like to ask, we're more than welcome, but at half o'clock, we're down there. At 12 o'clock, we're down there to the end. <laughs> At 12 o'clock, they were down the town. You try and live in four dimensions. <laughs> give it up, give it up for a week. Your shout. I'll tell you your shout. Right? Look, look, I'm already tied up, right? I have to work on the on the zombie outbreak team, the, the, the vampire, vampire control squad. It's not easy. It's not. Right? So any questions, anything you'd like to ask? Right, young man, can we have one more bazaar? Is it a bazaar? 